Now, something really special happening in the sky that a lot of you might have seen pictures of on the internet that looks incredible is the new comet C2020 F3 Neowise. Now, this comet is north of the Earth, if you imagine the Earth spinning, so it's really much more visible for northern locations. Here in Cayman, in the tropics, it's trickier. Not to say impossible, but it's really going to be a tricky one to see. And here's why. If we look at where the comet is um, just rising here, just to about 4.40 in the morning, the comet rises and just within an hour or so, boom, there's the sun. So it's going to be tough to see it in the sun's glow because the comet isn't a bright dot like a space station or a star or a planet. It's a diffuse light. So it's even trickier to see. So if you look at this diagram, the dark line, the solid line, is where the comet's been over the last few days, and the dotted line to the left is where it's going over the next few days. So the mornings, for the next few mornings, is going to get progressively a little bit harder and harder to see because it's going to rise closer and closer to where the sun's rising. In the evenings, it's also visible in theory, but if you look at this, it's setting at the same time as the sun. So when it's up in the sky with the sun, there's no chance really. But if we go forward a few days, so let's say to the 17th, for example, we're going to wind up in a situation where it is going to be setting after the sun. So here we go. Here's the sun setting. The sun's gone, but the comet's still up. So this is in the evening. It's going to be in the west. So from the 17th on, if the comet's still bright, and we don't know because this comet can change brightness significantly. If it's still bright by the 17th, we might have a reasonable chance of seeing it after sunset as a diffuse glow in the northeast, uh, sorry, in the west. You're just gonna see it to the right of the sun. So for the next few days after that, it's gonna get higher and higher in the sky at sunset. So if you wanna see Comet Neowise in Cayman, it's gonna be tricky. Right now you can get up early in the morning and give it a go if you can see to the east. But the issues are this time of year, it's the rainy season. So there's a lot of haze, some clouds, who knows, and it's tough. But in the evenings, your best chance to go to like a Western facing area like the beach and give it a shot. Who knows, there might be a chance. So again, the best chance is probably in about 10 days time after sunset, just to the right of the sun. Although if you're brave, you can try going out looking east in the morning right now, but it's going to be tricky. And that's Comet Neowise.